Audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. Of recent times, our focus has been on Europe. In our last program, we began to talk, Camille, about the idea of there being a European super state. And that, at this point, doesn't appear to be an actuality. But what are the evidences that make it look as though it's heading that direction? Neil, the evidence that Europe is heading towards super statehood even though most Europeans living in the Union aren't aware of it, are as follows. First are the quotes, the quotes of the past stating that this was the goal, to have a United States of Europe, not using that term, but pretty much heading in that direction. There are even modern little phrases that imply the same thing. One of them is just three words, ever closer union. Interesting ever closer union. And the German chancellor had an interesting phrase as well. The German chancellor, in response to some of the crises going on in Europe, like the migrant flood or the Greek instability, used the phrase, we need more Europe. What does more Europe mean or ever closer union? I think, frankly, it's very clear. So those are just the statements But, Neil, I've learned a long time ago, you don't just go by the rhetoric, you go by the actions, because actions tell where people are at. So, when it comes to the European Union, what are the actions? Well, the European Union, of course, has several things going for it. It has common currency for most of the countries, not all. It has a common flag, parliament, commission as well as presidency. And then, of course, they have EU passports. It does not look like the trappings of a super state. And then on top of it, you have what is called the Schengen Agreement of 1995. Schengen is a town in Luxembourg where the agreement was ratified. And basically what it did is it lifted the borders or rendered the borders more like states rather, rather than sovereign nations so that if you enter into one of the 28 Schengen countries, you have free access without showing your passport in the other 27 countries, similar to traveling between Australian states without a passport. Now, that's fine when it's states, but when it comes to sovereign nations, remember, your borders represent your nationhood. When your borders don't mean anything anymore, what does it say about your nation? Again, the whole concern is people in Europe don't realize that while they think they belong to a club, their countries are being demoted to mere provinces of this European superstate. Is there some sort of conspiracy theory involved, Camille, where removal of borders enables the creation of an entirely new culture based on other things that, as you say, many people are actually ignorant of? Well, I don't know about conspiracy theory because usually conspiracies are done in hush-hush secret. I don't see this as a conspiracy because, first of all, it's there for everyone who cares to look at the quotes and the actions. But the, the problem is when people have not been properly told or truthfully told, when you have what is called misconceptions, lies, half truths and spin, and you build a society on that, unfortunately, it can become a house of cards. Faith and the Future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. Find articles, videos and podcasts from Dr. Camille, plus today's and other episodes of Faith and the Future in the Vision app or at vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.